What's going on everyone? This is Sai from Forge Physio. Today we're going over a glute bridge. So this is a bridge that is oriented or kind of biased toward our glute or our hip extensor, okay? We can do this and have it biasing our hamstring and we can do it biasing our back. So this particular video, what we're trying to hone in on is feeling our glutes work more than anything. So when I go on my back, I'm gonna be really mindful of what I feel or, uh, in regards to my low back in the ground. So a lot of times those people will do this with their arms out to the side. And what I see is they're driving their palms and fists or their palms or fists into the ground and their rib cage opens up and they're using like their lats and some of their back muscles to kind of drive that mechanism. And the people won't feel a lot of their glutes working. So I like to go arms crossed and then I like to push or use the cue of pushing the low back into the ground. And then what I'm trying to do from here is like create that tucked where I'm tucking my hips under me by pushing my low back into the ground. And now my butt is already off the ground by like an inch or so. And I can already feel my glutes starting to kind of fire. And then when I come up to this top position, I'm doing a really good job of keeping my hips rotated under me. And I can really feel my glutes engaged. And notice how I'm not bridging excessively high. That's the other compensation that I'll see is people try to get way too high and once they get really high, they lose the tension in their hips because they don't have the range of motion and then they end up just really arching into their low back, okay? So all we're trying to do is drive hip extension and actually being able to feel our glutes working. Now, the other thing to be mindful of is if I'm facing the camera and I'm doing my bridge is what are my knees doing in relation to my hips and my feet? So I like to keep everything in a straight line and having your feet knee and knees be about hip width apart. I don't like the, uh, having my feet super close and letting my knees fall out wide. We're trying to keep everything in a relative neutral position and then drive that motion into the bridge. Then what we can do is we can start to talk about progressions to be able to bias one side before moving into a single leg bridge. So going to my back, if both feet are in the exact same setup, I'm gonna have equal pressure between my feet. If I walk my right foot out a little bit, and then I go to that same setup, arms crossed, pushing my low back down, bridging up, now I'm feeling more work on my left than the right. It allows me to bias my left side a little bit more than my right side. So just little tricks that you can do to start facilitating like load shifting to be able to transform and move more into like a single leg based squat. So play with those setup positions. Uh, excuse me, a single leg base bridge, not a squat. But play with those setup positions, change your feet position. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have to bring your feet out a little bit further away from your body to bridge. If you get out too far, you're gonna really feel those hamstring muscles working. So you wanna find the happy medium for you. One that doesn't create symptoms uh, if you have any sort of like knee stiffness or anything like that. And two, which setup position allows you to be able to feel the glute muscles working the most.